so I'm addicted to to, to uh, jujitsu. Not much uh, drilling and stuff, but I love the the sparring and and scrambling with my friends every day. That's what I like. Well, having a brother that's always been very competitive helped a lot. My brother was always, ever since he started training, he was always into competition and he pushed me a lot to do the competitions too, to train with him so he could have a better training partner. So I think it, it was very natural. I never, I never ever thought of, oh, I want to be a black belt. I just kept training. I really liked the tournaments. So when we were teenagers, my brother and I, ever since we were kids, my brother is older than me, but he was always very, very skinny. He didn't like to eat. So most of the times he would give me his food, so I would eat. I was always bigger than him a little bit, even though he was older. And then all of a sudden, he started getting bullied in school. And my mom had a friend that was a black belt, and she decided to take my brother to train. And in the beginning, he hated it, so she had to train with him. And then he started liking and started picking things up. He's starting fight back against those bullies and beating them up actually. And this was in so short time. This isn't like two months. So I said I gotta start training jujitsu too. And then that's what my that's when my mom decided by this time he was already like a blue belt. He got his blue belt real soon, like in six months of training he got his blue belt. So my mom started paying him a little bit of money like an allowance for him to teach me and he already had mats in his room that's how we started and I competed for the first time after that and at one point he had a fight with the with his coach so he decided to move and, and start training on his own even though it was still a blue belt and my mom was very supportive of that idea so she had to move out for work. My brother was 18 years old, he was barely 18 years old. I was 16 and a half or something. And he decided to tear down the, the walls that divided his bedroom from the living room. And we made one big open area with mats. And it was like a gym. We had already friends that would come from our other gyms to train with us all the time all kinds of people from all kinds of gyms. I could name people, but I don't think it's, it's relevant here, but the world champ, black belt world champions visited us, visited us, even though we were not even black belts at the time. Some very high level people used to visit us, mostly to train with Caillou, of course. And that helped him and me, of course, but mostly him to to get to that next level without having a, an actual teacher. He became world champion blue belt and, and then purple belt. He got to his second place, I think. Uh, from then on, we were just training every day at our house and day and night and doing physical preparation. We became... We, we, began, we became athletes at that point. I was 17, he was 18. And then two years later, we came here to the US and that's how it all began. 2008, he won Worlds for the first time as a black belt. And I guess that's what happens when you want it, when you want something that much, you make it happen.